Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Lightroom in a Snap. Today I'll be showing you how to create different versions of a single image and how to jump to different points in your editing history. The steps I'll be showing in this episode are only available in the cloud-based Lightroom desktop app. They are not applicable to Lightroom Classic. If you're not familiar with the differences between the two apps, be sure to check out my blog post where I cover all the pros and cons of each version and provide some recommendations to help you decide which is the best for you. I've included a link to the post in the description below. Now that we have that out of the way, let's jump on over to Lightroom. What we'll be looking at here is a tool called, simply enough, Versions. Unfortunately, that also makes it very difficult to find info or tutorials on this as searching for quote unquote Lightroom versions generally gives you results that compare the two different apps themselves, such as my blog post, for instance. Now you notice here on the screen that there's nothing that indicates there's something called versions. You need to first expand the editing panel and then you'll see the versions button in the lower right. Simply click on that and your versions panel will open up. By default, you'll be looking at the section for named versions. As you can see, the original imported image is listed and you have the option to create a version. I'll get to that in just a moment. Additionally, there's another section for auto versions. This is where Lightroom automatically creates versions as you work, but there is a bit of a gotcha you need to know about. One side note before I get into the actual steps. If you use both versions of Lightroom, this desktop app and Lightroom Classic, versions do not sync to Lightroom Classic, even though your edits do. On a similar note, for this particular image, you can see the original version of the raw file, but all the edits I made were in Classic. That means nothing was created in this version of Lightroom via the auto versions feature. All the history is retained fully in Lightroom Classic, only the current edits are synced over. That is, unfortunately, something I consider to be a pretty big gap in the way the two apps work together, or don't work together in this case. On the flip side, versions do sync between this Lightroom desktop app and its corresponding mobile apps in both directions. As you can see in the screenshot, the mobile app also gives you the ability to create versions and view ones that are already created from the desktop. Now, let's jump to this unedited photo and step through how exactly versions work. The first thing to know is that auto versions will only be created when you navigate away from the photo you're working on or close the app. They are not created in real time like the history steps in Lightroom Classic. That's something you need to keep in mind as you'll only end up with one automatic version created even if you work for an hour or hours on a single image making dozens of edits without doing one of those two things. As for creating versions manually, that works pretty much as you'd expect. Let's do some quick edits on this one and then I'll create a version. Let's just name it Dramatic. Now let's say I want to edit this same image but in black and white and maybe with a different crop but I don't want to lose this dramatic edit. All you have to do is make your changes and then create another version. We'll name this one black and white 4x5. Now I can jump back to the original unedited version, my dramatic version, and my black and white version. All those edit points are being retained. What's more is you can export each version at Lightroom. So if you want to share one or more versions on social media or ask a friend for feedback, you can easily do so. Simply click on the three dots to the right of each version name. This is also where you can delete or rename a version if you need to. As long as you don't delete any of your versions, you'll always be able to jump between them to make further refinements on one or the other. Just remember, if you do go into a version and make changes, they will be applied to that version and you will lose the ability to jump back to how you had it edited when you first created it without manually undoing your changes one by one. So you'll want to create a new version anytime you're going to make drastic changes if you think you might want to be able to go back to that original version you created. One more quick note. If you enjoy these tutorials and find them helpful, I would be really grateful if you took advantage of the new thanks feature here in YouTube to show your appreciation. Your support will help ensure I can continue to create valuable content like this going forward. And that's Lightroom in a snap. <laughs>